Good morning, Bacon Academy. I'm Emily Gagnon. And I'm Jenna Gratoli. This is the Bacon Academy Student News. Seniors, all local scholarships are due in the guidance office this Friday by 9 a.m. Presenting three performances of two one-act plays, All Out, a contemporary drama, and 13 Ways to Screw Up Your College Interview, a comedy, dates are as follows. Friday, um, April 25th at 7 p.m., Saturday, April 26th at 7 p.m., and Sunday, April 27th at 2 p.m. Tickets can be purchased during all three lunches and at the door. $8 for students and matinee, $10 for adults. The LMC will host its Scholastic Book Fair Tuesday, April 22nd through Monday, April 28th. We will be open for shopping from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. Thursday. Thursday, we will be open until 6 p.m. Here's your chance to check out an amazing selection of books. Please come and visit us to shop or browse. If you would like to volunteer to work at the book fair, please come and see us in the LMC. In state news, three more men have been arrested and charged in connection with the theft of $80 million in pharmaceuticals from an Eli Lilly Co. company warehouse in Enfield in 2010. On April 10th, a federal grand jury in New Haven indicated them on charges of conspiracy theft from an interstate shipment and interstate transportation of stolen property. A two-month-old girl in Hartford who was critically injured last week when her father allegedly threw her head into a bassinet died early Tuesday morning, police said. The medical examiner's office will perform an autopsy to determine the girl's cause and manner of death. Depending on the results, the state's attorney's office may amend the charges against the father. 32-year-old Marcus Rooks has been charged with first-degree assault and risk of injury to a minor. He was ordered, he was ordered held on $1 million after his arrangement last week. A medical marijuana dispensary planned for in Hartford has its origins with Arrow Pharmacy Avenue Drugstore that opened in 1989. Angelo DeFazio, owner and president of Arrow Pharmacy, was awarded a license to open a medical marijuana dispensary. The dispensary will occupy three of the building's 20 units, according to the application. Other tenants include wholesale and retail business, office space, and storage areas. In national news, a 15-year-old boy who survived a flight from California to Hawaii by hitching a ride in the plane's wheel well said he was trying to get to Somalia to see his mother. The teen, who has not yet been identified, spent more than six hours on the ground before the Maui-bound jet took off. He survived the nearly five-hour flight in sub-zero temperatures at oxygen-depleted heights as high as 38,000 feet. This teen stowaway raises questions about airport security. A U.S. Marshal fatally shot a defendant in a Utah federal courtroom Monday morning after he rushed at a witness at, as his tra trial began. Sayel Angelou, an alleged gang member charged with racketeering conspiracy, was shot several times at a Salt Lake City federal courthouse after Angelou attacked someone who was a witness on stand. He later died at a hospital after being shot in the chest. President Barack Obama promised Tuesday that those impacted by last month's deadly landslide in Washington won't be forgotten, at least all by the federal government. Obama outlined the ways to, to government has the government has already helped and will continue to do so. He said that he wanted to visit the area to show support for families who are searching for loved ones and families who have lost everything. Obama will come to Washington, Washington State on the way to a four-country tour to Asia. He will stop in Malaysia, where the mystery of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 and its scores of passengers remains unsolved, and South Korea, where a ferry full of high schoolers collapsed last week. In world news, Russia will respond if its interests in Ukraine are attacked, drawing a parallel with the 2008 Georgian War. Pro-Russian militias have seized administrative buildings in at least a dozen towns and have occupied public buildings and installed their own officials, and similar tactics to those used to take over the Ukrainian region of Crimea earlier in the year. U.S. President Barack Obama has assured Japan that islands at the center of its territorial dispute with China are covered by a bilateral defense treaty. Obama said the U.S. would oppose any attempt to undermine Japan's control over the islands. The South Korean authorities <clears throat> have arrested four more crew members from the ferry that sank last week, bringing the total number detained to 11. Search teams are continuing to recover bodies from the submerged hull of the passenger ferry. One survivor has described taking the agonizing decision to save himself as the ship capsized and water washed wash away students he was trying to rescue. That's all for today. I'm Jenna Gratoli. And I'm Emily Gagnon. 
Thanks for watching the Bacon Academy Student News.